Wesley with Expand the Craft. We are going to go over a little bit uh, about the installation of a canoe connector kit for the outriggers. This is obviously just the center section. We are going to put the bows on later. Easier to work around. Now we've already installed this one. This particular canoe has a metal gunnel, a really strong one. So we didn't put the backing plate on the front side, but we did use a backing plate on the back side. If you'll notice that. Also notice that it's not perfectly square up and down, so when we drill the holes, you're going to have to drill one in the top and then find the equilibrium, if we will. Boom, like so. This is the part that goes on there. And so you drill the holes so that this compression plate will hold the cross tube in place. And uh, we're going to come over here on this side and kind of show you what how we're going to uh, put it together. Where are we here? Well, uh, I was going to say we need to cut this. Uh, oh, to match the other one? So before I drill the holes in here so I can just drill holes in All right. both the plate and the uh, canoe. There's uh, always going to be some modification. If you'll notice here on this particular boat we had to modify the uh, compression plate. That's just a normal thing. We'll be back. All right, we are back. We have modified the backing plate. And what you want to make sure you do is first, don't drill a hole in your finger, <laughs> right? <laughs> but uh, you want to drill one hole and put one bolt in. Never try to drill both holes and then try and line up the bolts because they'll never line up. All right, he's just squishing that in place, lining it up to make sure it's going to fit. We have made sure that the boat is square, which is pretty easy to do with this boat because it has the cross tube that's already there. He's finding the hole to drill through, and if you'll see, it's an aluminum gunnel. So we're not using the compression plate on the outside of this boat because the aluminum gunnel is just so stout on this boat that it's not needed. If you have a lightweight plastic canoe, you definitely want to put the plastic compression plates on the outside. And uh, that's pretty much how it's done. He's going to come through the, uh, the plate. Ta and da. And then, hold on. With... Okay, now, you'll notice that the longer of the bolts that comes in your kit is going to go into the top. That's so you can actually reach it with your tool. Uh, and that's why the, the outside of the, uh, there you go, the outside of that short tube is larger so you can get your, or your tool in there. Speaking of the tool, these are nylon locking bolts, nylock uh, wash, uh, excuse me, uh, nuts. You do not want to use the power tool to spin them on. If you do, the nylon will heat up and seize to the bolt. And then you got to get a grinder out and do it all over again and find yourself another bolt. So we do that by hand. Um, you just take a screwdriver in there and then of course, a little ratchet and poof. That's pretty much it, folks. Uh, that's how you put them on there. And then, of course, we'll be doing the drilling of these holes. And uh, you just basically drop that through and put your wing nuts or nylon lock nuts on there. That's it.